<coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Today we are going to be the first episode of Good or Bad Talk, and the very first guest is Francis Roman, the rapper and the rapper of Battle in the House. What's oh, up, Francis? What's How are good, you doing? Man? What's good, man? I'm good. I'm, I'm glad that you started your own podcast. <laughs> Thank you and, so much. You know, yeah. How does it feel, man? Yeah, I'm feeling very excited because in every single episode, I'm going to be inviting different kind of guests. They have different jobs, different careers, different perspective and stuff. So, and you are the very first guest, which is my own brother. Yeah, man. All right. So, let's do it, man. So, are you ready, bro? Yeah, man. Of course. All right. So, Francis Roman. Okay, before I start anything else, make sure I let you know what is going on with this podcast, okay? Good or bad podcast. I'm going gonna be asking uh, relevant questions or profession questions to my guest every single time. And after every single question after that, I'm going to be asking a random question. It can be anything. It is super random, you know. He he he's not even ready for that. All right, let's see how he reacts and what's his answer in reply. Yeah, let's do it, man. Yes. Okay, Francis. I want to ask you something. Yes. The very first question is gonna be profession question. All right. So, can you share your journey into rap battles and describe your mindset during that time? Wow. Uh. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. First. First of all, before I talk. I'm just gonna apologize first for the coughing and everything because I'm, I'm actually not well. I'm not feeling well. Like, I I haven't actually recovered fully. From I, I was so quite I was quite sick for like I think two weeks. Yeah, that's bad, man. So yeah, I'll I'll be coughing in the middle of this. So just don't mind, right? Example, the first time. <coughs> is is this like a cough show or yeah, like yeah. talk show? Cough show. <laughs> cough right. show. Okay, Sorry, man. So, right. so you you asking me about my journey, right? Like, okay, yeah. I think my first battle happened like um two thousand and twenty one. Okay, so it's like three years ago. I th I think so. Yeah, yeah. Should be two thousand twenty one or two thousand twenty two. Wow. Should should be around around there. You know what I'm saying? And okay, it happened. It first happened on online. I was okay. in an online battle. My okay. In my whole life, I've been okay. to like 10 battles. All right. Okay, 10 battles. The first and the second one was online. Okay. Yeah, and both I got champion for it. Okay. And then yeah, that's a good start. Oh, uh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. You know, I'm, I'm just trying my best. It's just my passion, bro. Yeah. That's what I love to do. Nice, man. And then the third until the 10th time is like face to face battle, like like live event. Okay. Live battle. So 10 battle started online, and I feel like. You know, I can actually do this, man. Because the first time I, I, I won that thing, I was like, yo, dude, let's do it. Because I can actually win. And, and all the judges actually like, you know, they are, they are enjoying my rhymes and everything, my punchline, my bars. I was like, oh, yo, let's go. Why all not, right. man? You know what I'm saying? All so, right. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> Sorry, man. So, really bad. after this question, yeah. as you know, I already told you guys that I'm going to be asking my guests a very random question, all right? He's not ready for that. So, are you ready for the good or bad question? Yes, of course. Let's go. If a spotted hyena versus an American black bear, which do you think will win and why? Spotted hyena? Just one, right? One yeah, versus one, one versus right? one. And, and black and bear? Of course. American black bear. American black bear. Medium size black bear. Because I think uh, we think it should be bear. black bear. All right. So yeah, you, you, because okay. because I think most probably hyenas like they will win when they're in a group. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like they, they, most of the time they go by yeah, groups. Yeah, yeah, in a pack. So okay. yeah, in a pack, I don't know, group and pack and everything doesn't matter. So I think black bear. I'm gonna give it to the black bear. Black bear. Yeah. Okay. It's quite random, bro. That, it's that's quite okay, right, that's right, insane. Right. Your question is. I, like I think he's a good blue. All right. Good animal fan. You know. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So. For the second question okay. about your profession, how did you manage to become a seven-time champion in rap battles? I think a lot of you guys kept thinking about this. How can you win seven times, bro? Like, yo, I can't even do that, bro. Like, I don't even know how to rap. I'm not. I am a rapper. 
Okay. That's hard, bro. That okay. that's really hard. Okay. I I just want to know, how do you do that? Um, on my experience is like um, um, like for real. Just first of all, you gotta love what you do. That that's that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like first of all, you gotta know what you do. You gotta love what you do. When you love what you do, you know what you're doing, man. And when you know what to do, you're gonna give your best to it. So uh, of course I prepared, but most of the time, all the like the rap battles, uh, like a big part of it is actually me freestyling. Okay, I love to catch the vibe on that on the spot on that scene itself on that day itself, and I love to like to to look at my opponent. And I'm thinking, what can I like oh. actually? <laughs> All right. Like rap about okay, here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. All right. How if if I'm gonna answer th that question? How to be like seven time winner out of the ten battles? Just just do your best, man. Just enjoy and do your best. You your you need best. to know what you're gonna what you're doing. Do your best, guys. Yeah. Love what right? you do, bro. Okay. And are you ready for good or bad question? Yes, of course. Let's go. All right. What's the wildest conspiracy theory you have come across that you think is true? Ooh. What's your rationale? Wow. <coughs> <coughs> I think, okay, this question should be hard, but at the end of the question, it makes it simple, which is, it, it's easier for me to answer because that I think is true, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you think okay, is true. Because it's kind of wild. Th there's a lot of crazy, like, cons uh, conspiracy theories yeah, out there yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that I feel like it's one of the weirdest, but I think it's false, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's fake. All right. But if this one is true, of course, I'll give it to like uh, the secret society. The secret society. Yeah, the elite, we call it. So elite to be specific. Yeah, Right. the elite. I think it's real. Honestly, it's real. Um, this is based on my personal opinion, of course. It's, it's not based on a fact or what. This is just based on what I've studied and everything. So I feel like, that thing is crazy, bro. Seriously, it's insane. Like how they're paying all the celebrities to promote the Satanism and stuff. Like how they're controlling the money, how they're controlling economy. And I think there's a lot of people thinking this is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. a lot of people. Of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we as a, like a normal human being, like example, me, I'm not some big celebrity all over the world and stuff. Okay. I'm not the top artist or top rapper, I'm not. So. <coughs> Maybe we'll live in a normal life and we feel like, yo, not, nothing's gonna happen, man. Let's say if I blow up, if they offer me money, I'm gonna reject them easily. But no way, it's not that easy, bro. Yeah, it's not that easy. When you blow up, yeah, yeah. when they're there to yeah. offer you like 50 million cash, dude, come yeah. on. Come on, man. You know come what I'm on. saying? You gotta just reject it. Yeah, <laughs> of course. But you know, when you reject it, yeah. they're gonna ban you for life. They're gonna like destroy your name yeah. out there. They have a lot of like their own uh, propaganda, uh, propaganda yeah. and everything, man. So for me, that's the wildest, and I think that's true. And the rationale, man, just just enjoy the life, man. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoy the life. Yeah. Um, find Always. God, find God, bro. Find you know, God. Always. Quote from Kanye: Find God. I I, I mean, it, it sounds funny, but. It's true, man. It's true. Yeah. You know, if you don't yeah. have God in your life, I feel like you, you just, you're just not there, bro. You're just not there. You're going to stick to this world stuff, worldly stuff, material stuff forever and ever. That's the shit. True. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, man. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the question. All right, cool. OKJ has achieved over 100,000 streams across all platforms. Okay, that's What nice. is the secret of making <coughs> that song? <coughs> I really Sorry. wanted to know how to make a song like that because it just blows up, man. You know? All right, uh, first of all, when we talk about that song, OKJ is one of my single. If you don't know, I'm not some big artist, big celebrity. If you know my song, one of my songs is OKJ. I have the MV. I have everything on YouTube. You can go watch it. And first, before I talk about this song, I'm just gonna shout out to the producer from all the way from Indonesia. His name is uh, Beggy, okay. Beggy J. So shout out to him. I requested a beat from him, 
and I gave him example what kind of stuff that I want. That I want I want him to produce to me, but at the same time, he need to produce what I want. You okay. know what I'm saying? What I wanted. So there he goes. He sent me that thing. I was like, Yo, this is sick. I just put because before that song, I made a song. It blew up a little bit. Okay. And then I received a lot of backlash, saying okay. like I'm like a. Um, in Malaysia, we call it um, like like a. a, a um, what we call it? A something. Something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. A, a something. Something in Malaysia it means like uh, some, some, some. Some street. Yeah, yeah. Some, 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 some like street cheap. gangster, like cheap ass cheap. gangster. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, okay, chill. I'm gonna take this song to say, okay, Joe. Okay, Joe means, I'm just fine. You what you want to talk about me? I'm just fine with it. And then I, I, I produced an MV with my friend, and then he directed that MV. I kind of posted out. Boom! It's there. So it's like, I, yeah, I was looking at the views, you know what I'm saying, like going up and then, yeah, then one of the like Malaysian celebrity found that thing, he, he DM me, he's like, yo dude, you have a label and stuff, man, your, your, your stuff is good, bro, so come on, hit me up, I'm going to bring you to my manager, bro, it's like, ah, let's go, so yeah, that's how it is, but honestly, 100k views, I hope it's more, I hope it's more in the future, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah. we need of some course. love from y'all, especially the local scene, bro. Make sure to check out his OK Joe song, yeah. all right? Thanks, man, I appreciate it. I'm gonna it. link down in the description below. Yeah. All right, so, back to good or bad question. Yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, of course, come on. Given the choice, yeah. would you rather <laughs> swim in a pool with sharks or a pool with crocodiles? Yo, dude, this Come is on, man. You, you gotta just take it, man. If there are like 10 sharks in a pool and 10 sharks in this, uh, 10 crocodiles in this pool, which one are you going to swim in? Who actually wanna answer this question, bro? <laughs> Come like, on, man. What is this question, bro? <laughs> bro. I'm gonna speak on. What question is this, bro? Like, dude, dude. Bro, no. Yo, come on. You gotta choose, man. Shark and croc. Yeah, bro. Um, <laughs> do, do, do you have like the land? For me to, like, I, I got a chance to like swim up and stuff. You gotta just drop into the pool and you just gotta swim. Both you have to die. You have to die either oh, way. So, okay. You so, have to die either so way. So now it's all about like how am I gonna die? Yeah, but but what if you can actually kill all the alligators and then you survive? Yeah, that, that, that's possible. <laughs> or sharks, right? So, so basically you're asking me which way would I want to die? By shark yeah, or Yeah, yeah, something like that. But who oh, knows, dude, bro? You, you go to gym and stuff, you can like just punch. I don't, I don't know, know, man. For real, I, I have no idea. Mm. <laughs> dude, what the hell? <coughs> um, most, mo most probably shark though. Wow, Because bro. one tip I learned from Instagram, from Twitter, from the internet. I learned that then shark, you just gotta like go eye to eye with the shark and slowly push away the nose, the nose part, like the front oh, part, and dang. then just walk away. You know what I'm saying? But if croc, dang. if you're trying to do that, bro, bro. it's probably, you're gonna end up dead anyway, bro. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I'll give it a shot. Okay. At least I got a chance to, you know, to die slow. So Francis Roman is going to swim in a pool of sharks, guys. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, chill. Quick check, quick check, okay? Quick check. <coughs> Sorry, bro. It's going well. So, I want to continue for the fourth question, All right, cool. which is very serious right now. How does your experience in rap battles influence your music production or vice versa? Oh, okay. yeah. Could you elaborate on any connections between the two? Yeah, I actually can though. Yeah, like, like um, at first. It's kind of different, right? Like when yeah, you battle yeah. and you do music, yeah, Bro, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. It's, it's like it's when you DJ yeah. and you produce music as well. Yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah. Like you, you know what? That's that's the hardest part, man. For make for for a rapper, I think. For those, I mean, those rappers who's battling out there, who's joining all the rap battles, I think this is the hardest part. They might they might win a lot. They might be winning a lot of like all those battles and stuff. But when it comes to, like making music, they're not getting a lot of views. True. That's true. I kind of you know what I mean. Right? I, I realize that a lot, yeah, yeah, a yeah, lot, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so to answer your question, if you want me to like elaborate, you know, about the connections between like rap battling and making music, I feel like um, first 
I used to make music, but I couldn't freestyle back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I couldn't actually freestyle before battles. Then, when it's COVID, the pandemic, when it's like all lockdown and quarantine a period, so I stayed home. I think you were there, right? Yeah, you, yeah. You, he witnessed me like right. I was yeah. writing a lot. I was learning so hard how to freestyle and everything. And then I felt like, yo, dude, I gotta put this thing into my work. You know what I'm saying? So it makes me technically, it makes me more like it improves me lyrically a lot. All right. So yeah, boom. I think that's <laughs> so. Th yeah, that's how. You Am I answering question? Yeah, I'm answering question, right? Um, Wait, yeah, do you, do you yeah, want like, more? No. Like yeah. actually, th to be more specific, I want to know: is there any connection between the two? Like when you battle and when you produce music, like somehow do you have any connection? Like, okay, you kind of like make music and you write the lyrics and battles, in battles, are you going to use that? Or like in battles, are you going to like, after you go home, go to your studio and you're gonna like just take some ins inspiration, uh, yeah, 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 things yeah. like that. Okay, about the lyrics though, um, I have a love-hate relationship of that. Like, if I write, if I if I'm writing something for my new song, for my upcoming songs, I feel like I wouldn't take that lyrics into battling because I feel like that's purely right. for that song. Okay. But in like as I say, love hate relationship, I hate that. But I love doing that. Sometimes battle, I did like getting yeah the yeah yeah in. yeah. I get the lyrics, I get like the bars and punchline from the song. So I I made a reference. So yeah. So, I mean, that's somehow connected, but you know what I'm saying? So good. All right. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I hope I'm answering the question, bro. Yeah, yeah, of course. I hope this mic is working, man. Let's go. Yeah. Um, are you ready for the next one? Yeah, let's go. Good or bad question, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Good or bad question. Let's go. If you had the power to eliminate one thing from the world, what would it be? And what's the reasoning behind your choice? Wow. This is so It can be anything. Can it be can be anything? visible or invisible or whatever thing. Oh shit, of course I'll I'll I'll, I'll remove I'll remove Lucifer, man. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> you, you asking me, bro? Yeah, 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 oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna remove the demons, yeah. bro. Alright, alright. Alright, let's just saying? put aside the evil. Okay. What you gonna remove? Mm. Wow. <laughs> Corrupted people? Corrupted people? Uh, I, I will, okay, let's say a gin All right. appear, appears in front of me. I'm gonna be like, remove all corrupted human. Human, okay. Yeah, corrupted, corrupted human. What yeah. do you mean by corrupted human? As in what? Of course, first of all, I gotta point my finger to the secret society. Secret society? Yeah. yeah. All right. And those are corrupted people, of course. All right. They themselves are the corrupted people. And then all the politicians, corrupted politicians, police, right. and, you know, army, and all like the, you know, the, the big, huge entrepreneurs, businessmen, everyone, man, whoever's corrupted, just get the hell out of here. We need to live peace, man, you know what I'm saying? For real. That's very nice. Yeah. I'm saying the elite. I'm saying the secret society, man. If I'm gone after this video, <laughs> you know where I'm going, bro. You know where I end yeah, up yeah, to, yeah. man. Please find my body, bro. <laughs> Here, come on. A quick check once again, all right? It's pretty going good, you know? Right. I, I, I didn't expect, like, um, it's going well right now. Let's go. All right. So, all right. I have another question for you. Yeah. For those aspiring rappers out there, the rap aspiring rappers out there, what's your advice for them? In terms of making music or rap battle or like overall? Overall, man. Just overall, bro. Um, I feel like me, I, I'm not supposed to be in this position to say that because I'm, I myself am not, maybe not good enough. I'm still learning a lot, but what can I have? What's in my mind right now? Uh, genuinely, I feel like 
I'm be more lyrical, man. I always get blown away by, you know, I, I love mind blown thing like good rhyme scheme, good bars. I always love that, man. So what I can say is, let's let's be lyrical, bro. Let's be more lyrical, because I I feel like rap. Um, why rap is rap? Of course, one of the reason is how good the bars is, how good is the rhyme, the rhyme scheme, the multis and everything. If you don't have that, I feel like everybody does that, bro. Everybody can produce a reggae song, R and B song, just sing with it. So you wanna be a rapper? You gotta, you gotta slam. You gotta blast the rhyme schemes, man. That's what I love about. So be more lyrical. Be, you know, more, write more and everything. I don't know, man. Yeah. So and enjoy. I think <laughs> genuine love for music is yeah. the most important thing. Enjoy yeah, what yeah, you yeah. do. You I know? should say. I should say. Enjoy is the first thing. Not trying to be lyrical. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Love enjoy. it. Just, just love your music, bro. You know what I'm saying. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready for the good or bad question? Yeah. So it is the last question, right? This is gonna be the last question. Let's go. All right. Cool. Which one subject in secondary school is useless or the <laughs> least important? You gotta tell me whether it's useless or least important, and why. I feel like, honestly, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Honest of talk, course. Right. Of this course. This is a talk show, man. Come I'll on. I'll give it to civic <laughs> okay. or moral. Okay, civic or moral. Okay. Pendidikan moral or pendidikan civic. How do you tell them? Uh, how how do ex uh, translate pendidikan moral to like the people that don't speak Malay? Do I think I think uh, in Malaysia in Malaysia school secondary school. We have this one subject called pendidikan moral, which is uh, basically, if straight translate, it's gonna be moral education yeah. and pendidikan civic, civic education. So, <coughs> I feel like in school the exam is all about you memorizing <coughs> <coughs> all the values definition, just just answer it accordingly in that paper. For me, like, dude, moral is supposed to teach you like how Japan does, bro. Have you checked out Japan's video? Like, there's this one viral video video about Japan, like how they teach school kids, small small kids, bro. It's not like secondary kids. Take a small kids, they bring them out, how to cross the road. When you met your like your um, your senior stuff, how do you bow? How do you say thank you? And dude, wow. stop and doing theory, bro. Get get on hands-on practical like for real that's if you keep sitting in a class the teacher gonna gonna explain this thing to you every single day as to memorize do you actually implement that thing that definition in your life no that's a no-go bro yeah. nobody's gonna do it yeah so you gotta put on the practical shit stuff <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. My teachers, I know you're gonna <laughs> say, oh, this this little kid it's disappoint little me, kid. bro. Disappoint me, man. Come disappointing on. Disappointing me, not I, saying that. I'm, I'm thinking you know the truth too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Because I'm I'm gonna give you one like strong supporting point because now kids are more and more and more and more and more immoral listen the, Im the immorality is crazy right now kids can just come out to like any old guy old man old people just scold him up just say shut the f up you know what i'm saying yeah yo dude just you, you, just check out all the comments right now youtube instagram twitter facebook dude this world right now it's messed up man yeah Parents out there, please yeah, it's, really it's, it's educate. Up, so educate your children, please. So to answer your question one last time, the moral education, the civic education is like the useless. You 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 like the most useless subject because you yes yes you do learn some stuff of course from the textbook and from the homework and from the teacher. But in terms of your life, the real life experience, 
Bobo. So it's like the least important one, right? Yeah. Okay. So Francis Roman, I want to thank you for today episode for the talk show. Appreciate it, man. It's an honor to have you and I'll have you once again. Make sure to comment down below if you want me to invite him one more time, okay? Yeah, He's cool. going to be talking about different kind of stuff. Yeah, or you cool. want him to deep dive into rap or music production or rap battles, make sure to comment down below. And also, make shout out to shout out to your media, me, uh, social so, media. You know? Okay, yo, bro. Um, for <laughs> those of you who doesn't <laughs> who haven't actually known me follow me on instagram francis underscore romanism facebook the same youtube subscribe i have two channels one for vlogging one for music check out i have a new song coming up with a lot of good rappers you know what i'm saying so peace out shout out to good or bad talk this is his first podcast ever thanks for inviting me good thanks, luck man. keep elevating thanks. guys keep viewing so we can actually upgrade our little place to like you know what i'm saying like yeah, a, yeah, a, a yeah, proper yeah. one yeah as you say Thank you. uh make sure to also check out my new merch my merch right down the uh, description below i'll put a link right there that's the best way to support me so that i can improvise my equipments and my shows and the guests i need all this um budget to actually um to do all the stuff out there right to run the show and also make sure to follow me on itunes and spotify if you are listening on itunes and spotify and other platforms and you are on if you are on youtube make sure to subscribe for more we have more coming soon and i'll see you guys in the next one peace thank you yo peace, peace out. out ah peace